Hey guys, how you going? Welcome to our vlog. Um, we're here camping at Freeman's Campground. Um, I forget the national park. Monmora State something. Yeah, State Conservation Area. Oh. And so we're we're here. We're just camping. You know, everything is going absolutely peachy. Not a problem in the world. Our tent is holding up just fine. We've got this little decoration here. Um, yeah. Yep. Yep. Pretty good. Well, that's about it. So the weather's been pretty good. Um, Not a problem with the weather actually. It's surprising. It was forecasted to be like stormy or something. I, I don't know. It's a little wet. I mean, what kind of idiots would go camping with stormy weather? It does seem a, a tiny bit wet. Yeah, I think your bed would agree. I'm not sure if that's because of the rain, though. Oliver. Oh, uh, the weather was pretty good when we got here. Just a bit windy. It started to sprinkle. We thought, okay, that could be alright. James kind of predicted it, though, being with the uh, ominous clouding and stuff. It's pretty um, cloudy. Yeah. Uh, since then, I think it got a bit wet. Um... We currently have a swimming pool in the front, which is sealed off through that door. Luxury. Yes. But well, we are surviving. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. We're surviving. It's all good. Um, there's about six leaks in the tent. There's one puddle. Puddle over there. Hence why we have the umbrella decoration. Um, all of our valuables are covered underneath the towels over there. Uh, all of it's pretty valuable too, so he's covered underneath the sleeping bag. Oh, that's cute. Um, and we're kind of hoping my little three-man tent, which looked very, very um, stable outside when it was windy before, I'm kind of hoping that's still doing well. The $13 Kmart tent, three-man tent, nice and small. And if it's dry, that's where I'm sleeping tonight. Not in this puddle, puddle zone. Is, is that the end of vlog number one? I I don't know what else to say. So, camping vlog one. You got anything? Bye. Okay. I, I like that. Bye. Peace. Oh, I missed that. That's really jerky. Why did you cut me off like that? Hello. Video log number two. Right now, we'll call this one so very tired, because we are so very tired. It's, it's been a long first day of getting wet and leaking tents and cooking chicken nuggets on a barbecue. Um, we're waiting for James to get back at the moment, because he had to go work. And it's like, what's the time? I can't see the time on my phone screen, so that doesn't matter. It's um, like quarter past twelve. Apparently it's a quarter past twelve. Some of that. Something like that. So we're waiting for James to get back it's about twelve thirty. Which is too fucking early. And oh, there's been other problems. This mattress that I'm sleeping on. It's got a hole in it. My tent leaked because of the torrential rain, so my stuff's all wet. And we went and did an exploration before with the car. It was pretty cool. We went and saw the beach and stuff. What do you have to say, Brendan? So very tired. Get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th that's about it. We'll, we'll do another video like tomorrow. Well, today. Oh, weird. Hopefully with Chris. Our first video log with Chris. The, the amazing Sawajo man. Sawajio. Until then. Peace out. Hopefully we don't get wet tonight anymore, even though it's raining again and they just started. Just shit. Which is bad. <laughs> Edit that out. Um, you can bleep it. Yeah, we'll bleep it. Bleep that stuff. Um, yeah. So Hopefully we stay dry. Bye, Campaniers. Bye, Campaniers. Bye. Bye. Alright, video the, log number three. That's the worst part. Oliver's awake! Oh god, are we fine? <laughs> yes, we are. Hi, uh... Um, and there's Brendan.
Cool. So right now we're at the gate. It's currently twelve. That's terrible. Twelve forty-eight. James said he'd be here. You know, twelve thirty, twelve forty-five. We rang him about three minutes ago. He said, "Oh, I'm about fifteen minutes out." Thanks, James. You're awesome. Um, we should have called before we left. Yeah, we should have called before we left. Anyway, we're at the gate now, and we're, it's quite dark. Like, we can't even see things when we turn the headlights on. It's really, like, that's how dark it is. Um, Brendan tried to tell us another pun, but we... we oh, yeah, Brendan's puns are terrible. We had that Not mine, the Tim. And yeah, well... Oliver's scary stories were also terrible, because they weren't scary, it was just retarded. They weren't mine, they're the internet. Stupid internet. Well, you're not, you're not supposed, well, it was you're supposed one to, of them anyway. And you're not supposed to laugh during the whole scary story and be like, that's a weird name for a girl. <laughs> Is that all you took out of it? No, that's what you took out of it. So it's pitch black outside. Pitch black. We're all scared because we think there's going to be serial killers and then we're making up things about ferrying all these people back because we're really eager to get out. Something like that. I'm not scared. Oh, I'm not scared. I'm too tight to care. No. I was going to bear hunt and not expect a bear. I'm talking about the characters. They were like, oh, I was going to bear hunt. Oh, I found a bear. Run away. I'm scared. I, I lied the whole book. Yeah, it was the plot. It's it's a it's a gripping confrontation with um, humanity's inability to face all all of its fears. Philosophical words of one very tired Oliver Featherston. It's about bears. <laughs> I think that will end video log number three. We'll have a video log version three point one when James gets here and we'll film his majestic arrival. <laughs>